Well, hello, and welcome to unit number five uh, on the Introduction to Interpretation course. Unit number five is on the model of interpretation. We use the model of interpretation for planning everything. And so it's important that you have a really good understanding of, of how the model works now. On the unit five by sheet, the, uh, the model of interpretation is there. And let's just go through it really, really quick. Uh, we start over with the left-hand side in the top yellow box is your objective. So if you're doing a program or an activity or an exhibit, the first thing we want to know is what are the learning objectives, the behavioral objectives, and the emotional objectives that you want interpretation to accomplish. Uh, and then the second box is what is your story or theme that you want to interpret? Now, I've attached an article on themes and objectives that goes into those in more detail. The third box is who's your audience? Uh, how many people are coming? Why are they coming? What, you know, are they old? Are they young? Are they locals, non-locals? Because you have to tailor your, your program or your exhibit or your, your uh, activities to how visitors learn and remember for different age groups and different locales. So who, just who's your audience? After we know that, then we select the media. Will, will this be a live program? Will it be a self-guiding program or a self-guided walk? Will it be cell phone interpretation? Will it be a museum exhibit? Uh, just how are we going to deliver our interpretive message? Uh, then the next thing is implementation. Implementation is what's it going to cost? Who's going to do it? How long is it going to take? If I'm giving a guided walk, I'm, my implementation might be to send out advertising, um, create teaching aids, um, you know, bring stuff with me on the trail to use as a demonstration, uh, bring park brochures with me or museum brochures. Just what do I need to do to implement uh, that program? The next box is evaluation. How am I going to know if my program accomplished its stated objectives? Will I do a visitor survey? Will I just do an informal asking people, well, do you, who, who remembers what, uh, why the bloodroot plant uh, was so scary to people? You know, and then you'll see if anybody can answer uh, that question. Uh, then we have you know, the, the next box, the big box, is the interpreter. And that's you. Uh, we each have our own way of doing things, our own personalities, our own sense of humor, our own way of talking. Uh, so there, there is not a right way to actually give the program as opposed to um, we really want to accomplish our objectives. And each of us would have our own way of making sure that those programs are accomplished. The overarching box is called managerial realities. Those are things like budget. Do you have money to do the thing you want to do? How much time is it going to take? Do you need help? How long does it take to get an ad in a newspaper to advertise a program? How long does it take to get interpretive panels designed, produced, shipped, and delivered to you? Uh, th those are all managerial realities. So when you plan programs or exhibits or interpretive panels or anything else, this is the model that we use because it makes, sh makes sure that we don't forget anything. And so we use it for, for all of our activities. So I want you to spend some time on it. I want you to know it really quite well. Uh, your assignment is to tell me how you have planned a program or an activity or an exhibit or are going to plan uh, a program or an activity or an exhibit using the model of interpretation. I'd like to see if you really can you really got a grasp of all the parts. And then, so send that to me then as a Word document your use of the model of interpretation. And we'll have a look at it, make sure that you, that you got a good uh, grasp of it all, and then we'll move you on to unit number six. So that's about it. Enjoy the model, and I'll see you at unit number six.